You need to get these gauntlets. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I saw the videos. They're good with Thorn, blah, blah, blah. I know. No, you don't know. I know there's a ton of videos out there about these gauntlets, but I don't think you understand how amazing these things are. These gauntlets go with everything and are useful anywhere. There's no way these gauntlets don't get nerfed eventually, so you might as well get them now. Why? Because these gauntlets are ridiculous. They're so good and so fun that I almost never take them off. Are you in a place where your enemies are not practicing social distancing? Well, not anymore, because now they're all dead. Six feet apart, people. You can basically clear any area of enemies easily by yourself with just one melee. These gauntlets are literally like having a fourth weapon attached to your arms. Like baby anarchies on everything you punch. All you have to do is melee an enemy to infect it, and it will tick with damage over time. If that enemy dies while infected, he spreads damage to anyone he's around, and all of them will start taking tick damage as well. See this guy? That's a champion servitor in the nightfall. Well, <laughs> he was a champion servitor. Now he's just dead. See this guy? He just spread his virus to everyone around him, and now they're all dead. Should have worn a mask, dude. You can literally clear an entire area of enemies just by meleeing one guy in each group and moving on to the next, leaving a green trail of destruction everywhere you go. Strikes? No problem. Nightfall? No problem. Lost Sectors? No problem. Raids? No problem. Gambit? No problem. Anywhere you go? No problem. Except for the Crucible. Honestly, they're hot garbage in PvP. We're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> One more and Pen is dead. Yes! And on top of all that, you can literally use Thorn with them. And when you kill an enemy with the Thorn, it activates the perk on the gauntlets and does the same thing just from using the gun. For now, they're saying this is intentional, but come on. This is Bungie we're talking about. It's disgusting and totally awesome. So there's no way these gauntlets don't get nerfed eventually. But the best part is that even if they don't work with Thorn, or if you're like me and want to use other exotics, they're still amazing on their own. Why? Because three out of the four Warlock subclasses have a ranged melee ability you can literally shoot at your enemies and it will work. Stormcaller Chaos Reach subclass, shoot your melee and watch them die. Top Tree Dawnblade subclass, shoot Celestial Fire at an enemy and watch them die. Oh, and get a kill while you're in the air and hey, you can do it again. But my favorite is wearing these while using stasis and just watching the complete destruction as green splooge mixed with exploding shards of ice fly everywhere, track other enemies, causing more green splooge and more flying ice shards. Use the Monte Carlo and do it all over and over and over and over again. Is that champion giving you trouble? Debuff him with the tractor cannon and watch him literally spaz out until he dies. Sometimes I even like to run a shotgun with one-two punch or trench barrel just to give me an excuse to punch something. Now these gauntlets are not going to be a game changer for boss DPS unless some combination or glitch with them gets discovered. But what they will allow you to do is wipe out everything before and around the boss so you can focus on using your actual loadout to do the work. Like I said, it's like an additional anarchy attached to your fists. So how do you get them? Well, see, that's the thing. You're going to have to do a legend difficulty law sector by yourself to get them. And if your RNG is anything like mine, it's going to take you a bunch of tries. 
Yes! Nice. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Some people got them on their first try. Me, I got them on try number 17. But trust me, they're worth it. These gauntlets are amazing, and I haven't taken them off since.